everything actually does revolve around the sun except for moons. So planets, asteroids, comets, everything revolves around the sun except for moons. And our moon, for example, revolves around or orbits the Earth. It sounds like we're saying that the sun is the center of the solar system. Okay. Our sun is made up of about 70% burning hydrogen and 30% burning helium, which makes up something called plasma. <laughs> I love it, okay? So the planets orbit, orbit the sun, and the moon orbits the planets. In our solar system, we have a star, which we call the sun, and then we have eight planets. We also have dwarf planets, asteroids, comets, and moons, but we're just going to look at the order of the planets right now. done today is that experiential learning aspect that we know as educators we know that kids learn best when they're involved kinesthetically when they're visually involved when uh, they're using those different modalities of learning but sometimes we get so focused on the task before us whether that is our scope and sequence or we have an exam at the end of it and we think sometimes that taking the time to do those kind of activities might be time that we can't ever regain in the course of our instruction whereas really what we covered today in about a 30 minute time we covered a ton of instruction uh, learning at high levels students were engaged they were creating material they were learning it as they went and we 
we couldn't have accomplished that if we had given them a, a chapter in a textbook or if we had sat there and just lectured to them. Um, they might have heard the same information, but they wouldn't have processed the same information. So by getting them involved in the learning, uh, we accomplished far more than what we could have any other way. Well, there wasn't just one technique here. There were lots of different um, best practices kind of rolled into one. There was accessing all different modalities through the music, through the um, video clips, through the verbal. There was um, partner work. There was a large group work all put together so you could make those connections across left brain, right brain for this deeper level of learning. Um, there was this repeated pattern of instruction we went through so that you could feel um, a deeper connection um, and a deeper understanding of the content, feel more comfortable as the learner as you went on. Um, there was very intentional kinesthetic movement, intentional um, auditory, verbal, uh, through the short visual um, video content pieces. This was a lot of information, but it was chunked into very um, understandable pieces that were easier to synthesize as a learner. All of this worked together, I feel like, to establish a deeper understanding of the content, and it was a lot of fun, and I think that's the best thing.